to BeerAmerica.tv. I'm John Pinkerton. And I'm Paul Leone. It's kind of weird you started off. Now I almost like, I feel like tossing it back to you, but I can't. No, so no, I, I can't. Well, you just stand there while I'll introduce this next beer. Um, we, were, uh, we were at the Savannah Crab Brew Fest and, uh, recently, and one of my um, new favorite breweries uh, that we've done, we've done a lot of different breweries, and I made it very well known early on that Dogfish was one of my favorites. You know, and then they still like I still like what Dogfish does, and then Bell's boy, I really like what Bell's does too. Right on. But I really like what Terrapin does, and that's what we're talking about today. Terrapin in Athens, Georgia. Here, I think Terrapin does a lot of great things, and the new thing, uh, well, maybe not new, maybe you've known about it as a brewer for a long time, are these collaboration beers. Well, we've talked about some. Yeah, absolutely, so. we have, and we've done Terrorized, which was a collaboration beer with Terrapin. Well, we have their second edition of their collaboration, the Midnight Brewing Project. It's called Terrapin Depth Charge, and uh, this is the uh, version two, and they got together with Left Hand Brewing, right? I mean, what do you know yep. about this beer? Well, it, what I know about it is that I had a, a great opportunity to uh, taste a few of them mm -hmm. um, before the uh, Savannah Craft Beer Fest, mm -hmm. and um, it's just about the tastiest coffee beer I've and it, ever had. Talk about coffee. I mean, really big coffee. Big and, coffee. And, and uh, well, here, let me go to uh, Steve, who we met here. We'll go to a quick little video of Steve, who gave us this beer. Well, basically, we take ideas from each brewery, something they do well, something we do well. Left Hand, clearly known for their milk stout, it's a stellar beer. And uh, we do a beer called the Wake and Bake. It's a coffee oatmeal imperial stout. So they thought, why not do a coffee milk stout? So what is this called? So this is called Depth Charge. And what's in it? Uh, it's got uh, espresso roasted coffee beans. Um, it's um, about six and a half percent alcohol. So Steve gave us this beer, okay, at the Savannah Craft Brew Fest. And, um, you know, he makes a good point that, uh, you know, you take what one brewery does really well and you collaborate with another brewery that does. And you know, Left Hand uh, does the milk stout. Right. Right, and, and you know, so, You've got this espresso milk stout from Jittery Joe's is all like coffee. I mean, I, I can't, you know, let me just pour because okay, it's, it's really it. hard to explain. It's just, but look, look at, look at, uh, look how dark that is. It's a rich, sweet, uh, really dark. aromatic stout. And then you've got, look at that. Oh man, it just, it's like a coffee shop in glass. <laughs> yeah. And that's, you know, I mean, it, it, I'm not a coffee drinker. But if you ever stuck your really? face, yeah, I mean, but I love coffee flavored like ice cream and things like that. And um, if you ever stuck your nose into like coffee bin of coffee beans, that's what you get here. I mean, it's it's amazing. I've never tasted anything like this before. Well, I, I think one of the things that makes this beer Ooh. so spectacular mm. is that they, uh, well, first of all, you've got that foundation that, mm. that supports it, the, the, the creamy, sweet, full-bodied stout, which already has kind of the, some of those, you know, s s roasty flavors. Mm -hmm. But they've got this really fresh character out of the coffee, and I think that's really the key. Um, co coffee beers are not entirely uh, just a, you know, throw some coffee into the kettle kind mm -hmm. of a process. Uh, it's really not that simple, or at least in my experience, in order to get that fresh coffee flavor, um, I think you've got to use uh, uh, a kind of well, I think what I don't know what the, how they're doing it, but I, what we've had success with is using a cold process, mm -hmm. a cold brewing process. I'm sure you've seen those ads for uh, things where you you know you make basically mix up the coffee grounds in, in cold water and put it in your fridge and let it sit, and you kind of create this concentrate. I don't know how successful that is for actually making hot coffee, mm -hmm. but uh, certainly for getting this kind of uh, kind of fresh coffee character, I think that's really the key. Yeah, it, it really is. It this beer. <laughs> Is, is one of those, it goes back to what I've said, it's just a unique, I've never tasted a beer like it, ever. I mean, it really is, it's, and it's done really well, it's balanced really well to me. I mean, obviously coffee is the dominant flavor, but it's still a beer. I mean, it's not like, uh, like you were just kind of alluding to, I guess, that they pour coffee in a beer and mix it together in a big pot and put it in a bottle. You know, I think that there's a good process here, and it, and it tastes good. Yeah. Oh, it's just lovely stuff. Mm -hmm. that, I, I tried to get a hold of... Um, I love the label, too. Sorry. I, the cow licking his uh, <laughs> mouth there with big coffee bean in there. And very That's nice. It's crazy stuff. Yeah. And uh, as it turns out, Eric Wallace uh, at, at uh, Left Hand won the uh, uh, Brewer's Recognition Award last year. 
at the uh, Craft Brewers Conference. Okay. So, uh, you know, the Terrapin guys are working with some highly esteemed uh, brewers, mm -hmm. and the Terrapin guys have uh, just been doing a, a bang up job and representing the South again yeah, uh, very nicely. Uh, mm -hmm. It's good to be. It's good to it's good to share the limelight with the uh, with the, uh, the Georgia Brewers. And David Little has, has, has said, and I know that you you've been up there, right? And he said we need to go up there and shoot some video. You know? Well, I haven't really been there since uh, I haven't been up to Athens mm -hmm. to their their actual bricks and mortar brewery right. in Athens, Georgia, um, which is only about a year and a half old, I guess. Yeah, so. and it's only a few hours away, so maybe we need to go there yeah. because it really is a special brewery. I think I think they do a great job. Well, we'll do it. We'll yeah. do it soon. We'll do a lot we'll of good ones there. John Cochran and Brian. All the people Spike, you know. Yes, yeah, yeah. There we go. So Death Charge Espresso Milk Stout. Brew 2, Midnight Brewing Project. I love it. I look forward to the next one. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, these collaboration beers are really a cool thing. I mean, they really are. I mean, it just it is, it is kind of a it, neat thing. It adds, uh, yeah, you take two specialties, you put them together, and you make all these brand new beers. I mean, and the possibilities seem endless, right? I mean, yeah, absolutely. As far yeah. as what you can take and where you can take American craft beer. Camaraderie. Yeah, exactly right. So there you go. Look at that. Hey, follow us on Facebook, Twitter. YouTube, subscribe, subscribe on iTunes, iTunes most importantly, uh, Paul at BeerAmerica.tv. Pink at BeerAmerica.tv. Send us any questions, comments, um, like us, hate us, beers we need to try. <laughs> I get a lot of hate mail. You get a lot of hate mail. I, I get a lot of hate mail. It's because I never answer my mail. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't get any hate mail. But anyway, cheers. Cheers. Nice job, guys. Ching. Excellent beer. My goodness. That's large. That is a... It's, I think I think they call it a breakfast beer. Yeah. Well, you think that would be good with dessert, though? Oh, yeah. Something like that. Oh, scoop of ice cream. Yeah. Scoop of Briar's vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm.